Hello, and thank you for taking this time to spend with me as we study the scriptures and discuss what the Lord has spoken to my heart. I am Kim Miller from Woman at the Well Ministries, and I'm delighted to read to you today our Angel Graham entitled Family Resemblance. Good morning, sunshine. Clear the fog from your head, so to speak, and get ready to face the day. Your path is bright because the Lord is shining through you. Follow in his footsteps. He truly knows the way. Our scripture is found in Romans chapter 8 and verse 16, and it reads this. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. There is no need to wonder if you are a child of God. You can know it. The Spirit of God that dwells in you communes with your spirit and lets you know you are a child of God. That same Spirit also teaches you and directs you in the ways of the Father. Therefore, your actions should bear a strong resemblance to your Father Jesus. You should not have to tell people that you're a child of God. They should know by what they see in your actions, your attitudes, and your speech. Our angel to angel chat. You have a strong witness for the Lord. Anyone who knows you knows you know him. You have your Father's heart. Thanks for loving people with the love of God. Thanks for giving yourself to him that you might be more like him. Remember, God loves you. You are loved. Our key thought is, can people see the Father in you? You know, my mother used to always tell me that as long as I was alive, my father would never truly be dead because my mannerisms, my speech, my thought patterns were just so similar to his. And people would see me, and they still see me, and they'll say, oh, I see your father in you. And it just gives me great joy because I loved him so much. But I really want someone to say to me, I see Jesus in you. We are called to be his hands extended and his feet. We are called to be his servants, showing the love of God that he so easily and abundantly bestows on each of us to all those who come in contact with us. And it's not always easy. It's not always easy loving those that perhaps are persecuting you or loving those that aggravate you and irritate you and frustrate you. But we as children of God must stop for a moment and we must ask him, why are these people in my life? What am I supposed to learn? Lord, help me to love them the way that you love me when I know doubt and frustrating and irritating. And you have to tell me the same thing over and over and over again. And then when you died on the cross of Calvary to pay for my sins, and I see the greatest love letter ever written from Genesis to Revelations and read your commandments yet find myself falling short. We need to be more like Jesus in our actions and our speech and our thoughts. They need to be ones that resemble the Father. And we can only do that if we're praying and we're studying his word and we're asking the Lord to help us to be more like him. But when we ask him, Lord, help me to be your friend, help me to be more like you, we gotta be willing to get up and put some action to those prayers. Because Jesus loves me, this I know. And love is an action. It's not a noun. Let us pray. Our kind and most gracious, your heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you that you love us. We thank you, Lord, that you understand who we are and you understand exactly how we're made up. And despite that, Lord, you love us. And we're thankful, Lord, that if we come to you and we ask for you to mold us and make us into what we ought to be, Lord, that you will do so. And Lord, that you are the potter and we are the clay. And if we're just a willing vessel, that you will consistently and constantly mold us to be more like you. Lord, I pray that you would work in each and every one of us, Lord, that are earnestly asking this. Give us your eyes to see those, Lord, that are in need. Give us hands, dear Heavenly Father, to reach out and hug those, Lord, that need to feel your love and your grace and your mercy. Lord, give us hands that are willing to, to give, to reach into our pockets, to reach into our bank accounts, Lord, and give to those that are less fortunate. Lord, give us hands that are willing to roll up sleeves and get alongside somebody that doesn't look like us or speak like us or 
have the experiences we have, Lord, but are a creature born of you just as we are, that we might assist them and help them and show them that they're not alone, Lord, and that they have help. Lord, give us feet to go where you say go. Lord, make every experience that we have each and every day an experience that is one that brings you glory and brings others closer to you. Don't let us just go to the grocery store. Don't let us just put gas in our cars, Lord. Don't let us just walk down the street, but let us be on a mission for you, filling your needs, Lord, and the people that you love with all the abundant blessings that you give to each of us. Lord, we love you and we praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, amen.